short, sweet, and to the point update. That is all I am doing with this. Um, also, enjoy the new angle because I'm in the process of reorganizing my room and rearranging the furniture in the little space that I do have and with the architectural layout of the room. It's a little difficult, so I was only able to move two pieces and definitely strained the injury I already have. So, quick little update to my last video about visiting um, the hospitals. Um, after two hospital visits and a week of pain and everything like that, what the heck is my hand doing right now? I don't know. Has a mind of a tune. Oh. Um, yeah, after two visits to the ER and a week of pain and then another checkup with um, my physician, the best guess that they can give me right now eliminate every other um, possibility and the CAT scans are normal, pelvic exam was normal, internal ultrasound was normal. Um, what they think I did was pull my abdominal wall because the pain is focused on my abs and not much anything else. So the only thing I'm supposed to do right now is just kind of rest and not do any heavy lifting, although I was doing heavy pushing at furniture today. It wasn't technically lifting. Um, this is why I'm a horrible patient. But, yeah, after talking with a couple of people on Tumblr and sharing that video with some friends of mine and discussing with them that reaction of going to the hospital, I definitely noticed a big difference going back to the ER the other night right after work and noticing, you know, I was already all made up. Um, it wasn't early. It was later in the day, but I was all made up. And walking around the ER... Um, and obviously I was in and out, um, this time I was only there for like a half an hour versus being there for seven hours last time, but only, you can tell that I am really, really tired at this point when I'm trying to do this because my brain function is just so, um, but yeah, I noticed a big difference in how I was viewing the doctors and how I was viewing um, fellow patients and how I was viewing myself. Then there comes the yawn. I took a two hour nap earlier. You'd think I wouldn't be tired and I got like eight hours last night. You really would think that I would feel great right now. I don't. Um, but yeah, in all seriousness, it was really weird going back into the ER being all made up because I naturally had this one is I had a chip on my shoulder from work so there's an attitude that was you from that um but not going in there looking like I was sick but rather uh looking like someone who you know looks normal who doesn't look sick who just looks like someone got a haircut because that's the really weird thing like right now while I'm at work is no one asks me anymore um you know, when it's a shaved kind of look, there's questions and asking, you know, if you're sick or if you're recovering from something or you did a fundraiser. Like, those are the obvious questions. When your hair is this short, which it's doing some weird flippy thing, I'll say. When your hair is this short, I naturally get a lot more compliments of saying, I like your hair cut. So people are assuming that I've done this to myself. And that I just decided one day I was going to get this kind of hairstyle. And I apologize right now for my brothers yelling at their video games right now. I think they're on live or something. I don't know. It's just, it's going to get louder in a minute if I know it. So this is the most random happenstance video ever. So I'm sorry, guys. But yeah. So long story short, I definitely felt obviously more confident going in there. And I didn't feel segregated and I didn't feel separated, and I felt like I was being treated like any other patient rather than someone who might have this medical issue or this medical history that they don't know about or um, they were assuming that I had. So there's that. It was pretty weird but pretty awesome, and I'm glad I finally at least have some kind of diagnosis to what's been going on. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great night, and with that being said, I'm going to bed. <laughs> so good night, guys.